Best News TM. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Our staff member of the week is our fabulous first grade teacher, Ms. Grassi. Ms. Grassi has a background teaching special education. In fact, she holds two teaching credentials as a result of her expensive training. Mrs. Grassi is an expert at meeting the needs of her students who are learning to read. We are so fortunate to have Mrs. Grassi at the Demoto. The leader in me habit for October is to put first things first. Put first things first means to decide what is most important and to take care of that first. You should spend time on things that are most important. You should set priorities, make a schedule, and follow your plan. Sukumo Sharks. Will everyone please take very good care of the school bathrooms? Here are some reasons why. To keep ourselves healthy and safe. To keep our school clean and beautiful. To help our supervisors and janitors. To have neat and a, an appropriate bathroom. Happy Monday! Good morning, everyone. This is Mrs. Vermette. Welcome back, C Track. All right, boys and girls, I wanted to take a moment to share a project that I'm working on. I am asking all of our community members, from our students to our family members, what their hopes and dreams are for the students at Mary Sukimoto Elementary. My hope in doing this is that everyone feels heard that it gives us some focus, some direction as a, as a community, and it helps us to write our school plan and where do we wanna be in five years? This is what I would like you to do. I would like you to answer this question. What are your hopes and dreams for your time here at Mary Sukimoto? Okay, so students, what are your hopes and dreams? Teachers, what are your hopes and dreams for your students? And staff members, support staff, custodian, office staff, what are your hopes and dreams for the students at Mary Sukimoto? For example, my hope and dream for the students at Mary Sukimoto is that every single child here finds an adult they trust and knows that the adults that are on this campus care about them and want them to be successful and will do anything to help them to get on the right path. We love the students that are here. We love the students that are to come. And we hope that you leave this campus feeling that we cared for you. That's my hope. All right, boys and girls. I want you to encourage your parents to fill out a survey I'm gonna send home on Monday. This survey will have just a little link that they click and they can write in their own language. In fact, some of the examples that I'll be sharing with you in just a moment, they have answered in English and in their home language. Okay, so I want you to listen and understand that these people, everything that they're sharing is about you, the students of Mary Sukimoto. I hope you enjoy. Hi, Sukimoto family. It's Ms. Biundo. Um, I want everyone to know that my hopes and dreams for my students is that they go through life 
always wanting to learn more and to spread kindness wherever they go. My hope and dream is that my son growing up to be a kind and helpful um, and human using all the things he learned here in Arizona. بدي اشوف ابني عم بيكبر هذا هو حلمي و... وعم ويحب يساعد كل الناس واذا و... احتاجوا لمساعدته ويطبق كل الشغلات اللي تعلمها بمدرسته بمارس وكمان <laughs> my hopes and dreams for my students is that they become kind, responsible citizens who aren't afraid to be themselves. My hopes and dreams for the students of Sukamoto is that they see themselves as readers, writers, and problem solvers. My hopes and dreams for all of my students uh, is that they fall in love with learning and they find something that they're passionate about um, and that they go to college and pursue their dreams. I hope everyone is successful and happy in life. My hopes and dreams for my students are that they feel valued, feel that they are important. Each and every single one of them matters. My hopes and dreams for my students are that they fall in love with reading, that they find a genre that motivates them and they're happy with, and that they fall in love with reading. Weather for this week is sunny and comfortable with highs in the low 80s and lows in the mid 50s. Have a great week.